Good morning everyone! Today we have finally wrapped the presents. Basically my Amazon order came last night um, so I thought I'd just wrap everything and I've got a laundry on the go, been to the gym, been to the coffee shop, started work and today I have a very fun task of doing tax. Um, so that's what I'm going to plough through this morning and then I'm sure at some point this afternoon I'll probably get time to do some handstands, I'm hoping I will, depending on how long this taxing takes and I've got like really random kind of admin tasks to do other than tax today. Um, a training programme to write and that is my day. I'm also doing a Q&A on fitness on my Instagram so if you don't already follow me then I'll put my Instagram handle below and do give that a little follow if you want to know a bit more about me um yeah <laughs> thought I'd show you my breakfast on rest days so I'm having an egg white omelette I've got one egg in there um chicken sliced it should be turkey bacon but I don't have that so I'm going for chicken sliced and then I have 50 grams of spinach in my egg white omelette, I have 50 grams of mushrooms. Actually, it's probably going to be more like scrambled egg because I don't think the pan was very well greased. Um, and I'll just show you when I've cooked it all up. So it's nothing too exciting. I am not a massive fan of egg whites and I do have to have a lot of them. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is see if I can change that because They're not my favourite by any means. Um, but anyway, we'll cook this and then I'll show you. Not the most exciting meal. It's probably, well, it's the only meal I'm not that keen on. All the other meals I actually enjoy. Um, but I'll probably just put some Frankie's mustard sauce and some chilli sauce on it and it will taste fine. <laughs> um, so that is my meal one. And I've got five more meals today. Guys, it's been such a fun full morning filling in my tax return. Um, anyway, I've just finished that, so now I can do a little bit of handstand training um, and yeah, just relieve my <laughs> stress. No, not stress. I don't really get stressed, but just I don't know, relieve all my energy that I've got inside my body for some handstands. <laughs> my favorite weather cause it brings you close and I need you close yeah wish we could stay here forever each day you keep getting better gotta love you close and I need you close you close, yeah. Every day, look away. Every day, look away. We could be good friends. We could be good friends. Guys, I've just remembered what I was going to be filming today. Um, I was going to do a little abs workout. So, yeah, I'm basically just going to run through like about five or six exercises that I always do to work out my abs. Um, and you, you know, you're more than welcome to do them. Feel free to repeat the circuit. Um, yeah, just so you guys get an idea of what I would do to work my abdominal muscles. But really, like abs, as I said, are made in the kitchen. So if you really want my sore abs, as much as you work them, if you're not on point with your diet, then you're not going to get these visible abs that you've always dreamed of. Um, so, yeah, just letting you guys know, so you're not expecting to, you know, work out a million miles an hour with these abs workouts, and then be disappointed when you don't see a six pack if you're eating load of rubbish and eating too much. <laughs> First of all, I started with V-sets, so I did 20 V-sets to begin with. This is where you reach your hands up to your toes or your shins. Legs should be straight, arms should be straight, bring the arms back behind you. If you can't do a V-set, I'm suggesting a tuck sit, so tucking the knees in and reaching towards the knees instead of the toes. 
and relax. Then I went into toe reaches, so legs straight, reaching up again, the hands towards the feet, and I did a set of 20 of these. So this is kind of like a typical core circuit that I would do. And then at the end of the 20, straight into 20 leg lowers. So again, legs staying straight, lowering all the way down to the ground, just hovering above the ground, so not actually touching it. And if you're doing these, you want to make sure that lower back is staying pressed down on the ground the whole time. After this, I went into 20 lateral leg lowers. So instead of the legs going down straight in front of you, the legs actually drop down to the side. So you want to try and keep the legs in line with the hips. And I did a total of 20 of these, so 10 on each side. Again, making sure the legs are staying straight, that lower back is staying pressed down on the ground. You also want to try and keep both arms on the ground the whole time, so they're not lifting off. You, a lot of people have a tendency when they drop the legs down um, to lift the opposite arm off the ground. And almost there. Then I went into hollow rocks, so I actually got a little bit warm so I actually took my jumper off and I went into 20 hollow rocks. So little rocks forwards and backwards. The last couple of exercises, so I went straight into 20 little crunches, so not full sit-ups, just little crunches. So really focusing on the lower abdomen. keeping that contraction the whole time where you're doing this exercise. Then I went into toe reaches but touching the opposite toe. So working a bit more the obliques as well as the abs. And again, 10 on each side. And finally, last exercise, say so bicycles. So 20 bicycles, opposite elbow to touch the opposite knee. And at this point it was quite difficult because of all the other ab exercises that we'd already done. And if you want to do this, I'd suggest you know you can repeat the circuit two or three times um, and you'll get a very good ab workout. We could be good friends. We could be good friends, yeah, we could be good friends. We could be good friends, we could be good friends. Guys, I haven't done very well filming this today, um, but I'm just having my fourth meal now, um, which is potato mince, and that's it, bit of tomato sauce to make it interesting. I had potato and chicken and oil earlier, and I've got two more meals left. Um, so I've got salmon, rice and veg, and yoghurt chocolate. I've got quite a lot of chocolate actually, I've got like 45 grams. Um, <laughs> so that would be nice. Me, it's harder. Feels like I'm stuck underwater. Can't hold my breath.
na 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 na